Today I'm showing you the right way to play Symptom of the Universe by Black Sabbath. I'm gonna be playing a Woodwright Warlord in C-sharp standard tuning with a set of humbucker-sized P90 pickups. We're gonna be running into the clean channel of this Barton High Voltage Transmission 50 amplifier. This clean channel is based on a Dumble-style preamp with a Marshall-style EQ, KT66 power tubes. We're gonna be running it super clean. And in order to nail that Sabotage era, Tony Iommi Black Sabbath guitar tone, we're gonna be using our Does It Doom Valpurgis Iomic Overdrive. Now this is of course based on the combination of a Laney Supergroup amplifier and a modified Dallas Rangemaster. And then to control the output volume of the Valpurgis, I'm gonna run it into our Does It Doom Doomcaster MOSFET boost. Gonna allow me to cut or boost the volume as needed. Very transparent, not gonna really color the signal at all. Download the complete guitar and bass tab for this lesson and every other lesson on the channel over at patreon.com slash does it doom. Over 100 tabs at this point. Awesome community, a bunch of great guides, PDF downloads, Discord server, come on over and check it out. <laughs> So once again, C-sharp standard tuning here. This song actually modulates keys several times. We're gonna start out in the key of E minor. Now, if this were in standard tuning, we'd actually be in the key of G minor, but because we are tuned down that one and a half steps, we are in the key of E minor. So the first riff here goes like this. Actually, interestingly enough, uses the intervals from the song Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath, and is actually played in that same position. Just faster and power chords. So you got a root here, the flat fifth here, and of course the octave to the root. You're gonna be palm muting on this sixth string. Then the second half of that riff goes like this. So flat seventh, that flat fifth blue note again, and then the perfect fourth. So this entire intro riff is just using intervals from that blues scale, relying heavily on this flat fifth for that really dissonant tritone sound. Now we're actually gonna modulate up for this scale run riff. Really fun riff to play. It uses the natural minor scale. Uh, the root is going to be this open fifth string. Now obviously standard tuning that would be an A, but tune down one and a half steps, it is an F sharp. And this riff goes like this. So once again, all intervals from the natural minor scale, playing it slowly. So you'll 
you'll notice at the end of that riff, I've kind of just got a dead note with an upstroke. In the original recording, that's kind of what it sounds like, and in the very earliest live recording, sometimes you'll almost hear the open note palm muted. But in later years, Tony actually started to incorporate this note. But in our tab, we kind of tried to stay faithful to the original version. Now, as we lead into the solo, we've got this really fast tremolo picked part that's actually in the key of B major. Now, again, if we were in standard tuning, this would actually be the key of D major, but tune down one and a half steps, it's B major. You're gonna use intervals from the mixolydian mode. <laughs> This riff goes like this. we transition into this. So that tremolo picking part is fast. It's fast for me. If it's fast for you, you can just skip it and play this little section instead. It will sound great as well. And it'll help you work your way into the tremolo picking and eventually into the fretted section of that riff. And then of course there we're ending on that D major chord, which when you're down tuned one and a half steps, it's a B major. <laughs> Then for the last part here, we're gonna flip to the middle position. I'm gonna roll both pickup volumes down to about five and the Valpurgis is gonna clean up really nicely. This section has a really major feel to it and goes like this. So you'll notice some iomic sweep picking there. Again, not really my forte, but Slowing it down. So these are major triads here. You've got a fifth, a root, and a major third kind of sweep picking through them, so not picking them individually, just. want to send out a huge thank you to our entire Patreon community with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord and Riff Messiah tier producers for more content just like this. You can click the YouTube video directly below me. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend. <laughs>